Right, it's April 21st, which is day 18 of repotting season for prehistoric living. And I think at this point, you know, I've repotted basically all of these. There's a couple in there that aren't repots. Um, and, you know, I'm at a point where I think I've got a couple large projects. The Norway maples down here are budding out. I need to do something about those. And I think I'm going to do something about, you know, I'm going to make a Norway maple forest out of all of the seedlings in there. And then the big silver, uh, sorry, sugar maple that's in there. I'm going to plant in a large pot on its own. Try and get it growing with vigor and good bonsai soil in a couple of years. But I don't have time or energy to do a large project today after work. I'll probably do that over the weekend. I think today I'm just going to do one video. And the only one really that is ready, I guess, yeah, I was going to mention earlier. At this point, I'm kind of caught up with, you know, half of my repotting. Um, so I can afford to just repot things on the days that they're ready. Uh, you know, I've been doing it a little bit early up to this point, but anyways, this spruce back here, I think this one is the black spruce. Anyways, the lower buds are really enlarging and the upper ones are almost there. So that's probably ready in a couple days. I really want to do that one. I'm going to do a lot of pruning on it probably and uh, root pruning, repot. Anyways. I'm going to wait for everything except for this one. These pines are 9 and 10, which is actually the next two in the series. So that's helpful because they are, you know, almost... Their candles are almost opening up already. You can see how they're kind of turning green already. And then in some of these other ones, that hasn't happened yet. Over there. Uh, but in these ones, it's kind of started, even though those buds are pretty small. So anyways, yeah. I'll get these two pines potted up. And that'll be my only video for the day. Okay, so... Eastern white pine, 9 and 10. I think I'm just gonna generically call them white pine. Eastern northern you know they're both the same type of pine apparently pine strobus i believe white pine still a little bit windy out today i can't wait for the proper spring temperatures to arrive probably reuse this soil so I'll just take this weed and throw it over the other way. Might reuse this moss, I'm not sure. As always, not a lot of roots grew in the top part of the soil. I guess Should be watering more often. Maybe it dries out a little too much, too quickly up top. All the roots chased all the moisture in the bottom of the pot. But also these trees hadn't been root trained yet. The tap roots were still growing down. You know, I just put them in the pot last year. They were really tiny seedlings. bunch of long roots down here circling the bottom of the pot down 
but we'll get cut off eventually, but I'm gonna try and save as much as I can for now until I can see everything more clearly. Okay, finally. That was a tricky one. Okay. Um, so, number nine can be this one right here. It's got three branches lower down. Three times three is nine. And this one will be number 10. Okay, so I think with these ones, I can be fairly aggressive with the roots. Um, yeah. Because it's, you know, the right time of... Pretty much the exact right day. Maybe a day or two early, but pretty close. Right now I'm just taking off anything I don't need. Like this one, you know, I would keep a little longer, but it grows down there, but then it starts branching out that way, so, or sloping out that way there, so that's better. I think that one's dead root. Um, this right here is basically the tap root. Um, so you can see it's growing straight down there. So I might just get rid of it entirely. Make a big cut here. Just like this. Yep, and that's most of the root gone. Okay. Keep all of that need to get the pot sorted out. So, you can see there's not a lot of roots on here. But, hopefully what's left can grow up strong now. I'll just get them growing radially, laterally, basically just you know, 180 degrees from each other. Going out as much as I can. That's not a bad start, I think. Really don't need to do any chopsticking here. There's hardly any roots in this pot. Just need to get that soil firmed up. That's it. Add some water. in and give a proper spin uh, after I do number 10. Got some really long roots on this one. This one is crazy. It's got to be like 50 centimeters long. Wow. <laughs> okay. So first... I see this one grows off at a weird angle. I can probably train it. I might need to keep it for now. Train it to go that way with these ones. 
because I will probably need to get rid of this thick taproot down here. Yeah, I'll probably get rid of both thick roots eventually, but for now, I think I can only get rid of this one. Actually, yeah, so there's that long one gone, but there's actually a pretty decent root growing out from the same spot there. So, and then another couple here, so actually I'm going to get rid of this whole lower spot too. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, now it's a bit one-sided, but I'll train those roots to grow radially now. as much as I can for now. Yeah, that's pretty sparse, but semi-radial <laughs> for the small amount of root, roots that are remaining anyways. I already had the pot ready to go for this one. spot there. Had to hold it in a different way. And yeah, well, that's not perfect, but maybe it'll do. Whoops. <laughs> that's great. that'll do. Let's get this cam camera angle changed and these pot, uh, <laughs> these trees, a proper spin. Okay, so first, there's number nine. A little taller, okay. Yep, here's number nine. These trees are, you know, tiny little bit of movement in the trunks, but fairly straight up and down for now. I can shape them in the future after they've thickened up, you know. Once these candles on all my pines this year, once the candles extend, and just before the needles start opening up, um, I'll do some pinching. You know, a lot of these, this one has four buds, and it's just a fairly small tree, so I'll select two there the two strongest ones. I won't pinch them at all, I'll just let them grow strong. It's kind of, you know, thick, sa sacrificial leaders, almost. And then, yeah, so. That'll be that for the pines. Soon enough, within the next week or two, probably, they'll s start extending, and then in a few weeks, I'll be able to pinch them maybe. Anyways, this is white pine number 10.
so. There you have it. White pine number nine and ten. As always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers.